In the event of a natural disaster, it is important that your family has a plan in place. We came to the Department of Emergency Services to find out more. The first way you want to start out is develop a communication plan. And within that plan, what you'll have is if the kids are in school, normally everybody has cell phones today, they know who to call both on a primary and a secondary point of contact. The parents might not be available, they might be caught up in an emergency. Uh, we're talking about grandparents, a secondary, it could be an aunt and uncle, or a family trusted friends. So that they know how to make contact, what, where they're at, and where they're going in case there's an evacuation. So it's very important that all the family knows where everybody's going because they'll be able to meet up later during the emergency. One of the ways you want to reach, if, if the system's down locally, uh, that's going to be the first problem because they may not be able to reach out to town guests because our area has been shut down from whatever the event may be. Uh, if they are able to call but they can't call locally, then they can call out of town relatives uh, to let them know what's going on, that they're okay, and where they can be reached at. And they shouldn't leave that point unless they're being forced out through an evacuation. So again, it's all about coordination. In addition to having a family communication plan, it is also important to have a family emergency form for each family member with all of their information. So what you will have that on there is all the pertinent information for each part of the family, each individual. Um, it will go into uh, name, your social security number, your address, those kinds of information. It will also have uh, medications that you might be on, any kind of uh, chronic health disease if you're an older person. Uh, in case the computers go down and you're taken to a hospital, the hospital is not going to know what your story is. You might be uh, unconscious and unable to provide the information to the uh, health care providers. So therefore, by having this piece of paper in your plan, everybody knows between the first responders and the hospital what's going on with you today and how they can properly treat you in case of emergency. For more information, you can visit QACDES.org. For QAC-TV, I'm Mallory Drummond.